clean this camera lens off because this is gonna be a situation. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to Do It At A Dime with Catherine. If you've been on a Netflix binge, you may have seen Marie Kondo's tidying up. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I tidied my closet. It doesn't have to make a huge change to make a huge difference. And these are my favorite Marie Kondo strategies for getting organized. And this video is brought to you by ThreadUp, the world's largest online thrift store. You can get 30% off your first purchase using the code DIME30, links below. Items that spark joy and inspire me with confidence affordably. Marie Kondo's first tip is to go all in, or probably better said, all out, by completely clearing the space. Cluttered full spaces suffocate your belongings and it doesn't allow you to truly assess what you have. It kind of allows, the way I was looking at it, for a visual feasting, if you will. And it gave me huge perspective to all that I had and made me realize that even after rounds of decluttering, I was still holding on to things that were defining my past. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a bit overwhelmed right now seeing all of my clothes sitting out like this. There's a huge pile on the floor. I'm gonna take this just one step at a time. Little by little wins the race. Next is finding what sparks joy. This is probably the most parodied part of the condo method, but it's also the most beautiful when you take the time to do it. If something doesn't bring you joy or isn't useful to your present self, you discard it. And what I love about Marie Kondo and something that I want to work on is that she is all about respect. And I love the idea of cultivating genuine gratitude for having more than enough. Thank you, shirt, for serving me during a really hard season in my life. <laughs> okay, so maybe some of it was a little much, but honestly, this was oddly cathartic. I talked to myself throughout this whole process. I'm a really nostalgic person, so it helped me to be grateful for times past while valuing the present by saying why I was getting rid of something. But I'm not gonna lie, the longer this went on, this entire process took me three hours, the more savage I became in my decluttering. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Love you. Mean it. Whoa! This is a keep pile, and these are all of the things that no longer spark joy. I've only been working for about 30 minutes, and I'm nearly done with this stuff. This is a little bit messy in the room, but it's gonna be worth it. At this point, I really started to hit my stride because the next step is all about creating order. And what I love about Marie Kondo is her folding method. She puts everything in drawers like a file system. I don't use dresser drawers, so these are the drawers that I use. And her folding method has really influenced the way that I organize my drawers. She puts everything into a long rectangle and then folds into thirds. And this is called the vertical fold. And I found this fold most useful for tank tops, shirts, and jeans. It really helps your drawers stay organized and you can see everything that you have. took the time and a small investment to update my hangers so garments wouldn't slip off. I felt like it was giving my clothes some extra love. And what I love about the Kamari method is she wants you to fall back in love with your closet. You've eliminated distractions so you can see where the actual holes are in your wardrobe. And I love Thread Up Online. They are all about recycling, reusing, and shopping on a budget. These Lululemon pants retailed for almost $100. And the price on Thread Up was $38, but with my 30% off coupon, I got them for just 27 bucks. That way you can find things that truly fit and flatter you. They even have plus size clothing on their website. Name brands up to 90% off retail. I've been shopping with them for years. This dress is one of my favorite thread up scores. It was just $8 on clearance. It's comfortable, it's stretchy. I just love it. This Ralph Lauren dress from ThreadUp is also one of my new favorites and the price was incredible. And what I love about their site is if something comes, like this Zara shirt, this didn't fit me perfectly, I can ship it back for free and get credit for a future purchase. So I'm never stuck with things that I don't absolutely love for my wardrobe. 
up. I think there's nothing more flattering than a peplum. So cute. I finally said an official goodbye to clothes that fit my old body and my old life and said hello to a wardrobe that makes sense for where I am now. It was a gift I gave to myself, but more than that, I feel like it was also a gift that I gave to my belongings. It just felt really good all around. And what I love about this method is these changes don't have to be super drastic. It's all about cherishing what's important to you and not holding on to what has outlived its purpose. I hope this video inspired you to do something simple in your closet. And don't forget, you can get 30% off your first thread up purchase using my code DIME30, the link's below. Create and cultivate a space that means something to you. Guys, this closet makes me so happy. It's color coordinated. I can easily get to everything and I feel inspired when I come in here to pick out the day's wardrobe. Oh yeah. And the only thing I regret is not being more organized with how I got rid of these hangers. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs>